road number six. Road number seven. Welcome to a new edition of the $125,000 Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail. The bass tournament that allows a weekend angler to share in the limelight previously only enjoyed by the pros. Follow us as we travel around North Carolina as weekend anglers compete in a tournament with two levels of competition with a guaranteed $4,000 first place prize. Join us as we travel to Lake Gaston at Roanoke Rapids. Sutton Lake at Wilmington, Chowan River at Edenton, Noose Trent at Newburn, Carl Lake at Flemingtown, and Roanoke River at Plymouth. Watch us each week with exciting weigh-in, fishing, and awards action as anglers compete for one of the limited slots in the prestigious Bojangles Classic. Today's show is brought to you by our proud sponsors, Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits, the new sports shop, your outdoor sportsman headquarters. Shimano Fishing, North America's leading manufacturer of high quality fishing gear. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Now let's go to our host, Danny Joe Humphrey, to see where today's tournament will be. Okay, today we're on Sutton Lake at Wilmington, North Carolina. Sutton Lake used to be a cooling lake for CPNL. It's a great place to fish, particularly early in the year. It's got a lot of fish in it. It's got one problem. The fish, it, fishing is difficult because the water is so clear. I mean, you've never seen any water clear unless you go to Silver Springs, Florida. The fishermen have trouble with that. It has a dark bottom, but the water's clear. But they always catch fish down here. We've had some just unbelievable catches down here in the past. We're here at a good time. The first part of April should be some good fishing. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with today's weigh-in. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. At Mercury, we invested more than 844,419 hours of engineering manpower. So you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. So buckle up and hold on tight. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Sixteen eighty nine. Seventeen big fish. Lemon ninety six. Yeah, Brian, you see the fish in the decomp line? 
It's big fish. 456. That's why we didn't, uh, we didn't want to sit in here. We didn't know what Got a new leader. Eighteen seventy eight. Jason, I saw Jason catch one of six miles. He said he had twenty. Four six. Four six. What that was fighting on forty seven. Twenty-three sixty-three. Twenty-three sixty-three. Yeah. Did they have a big fish? Four, all four four pounders. Yeah, four eighty-nine was a big fish they had. Sure ain't East Kinston. Three and a half. Four forty. Six thirty six. Twenty seventy nine. Twenty seventy nine. Twenty ninety eight, twenty ninety eight. Five. Four? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had five. Big fish, big fish is four fifty eight. Eleven oh four. Is that like a... a big bow box says a lot about a person like they have a mighty hunger a powerful thirst and take tailgating very seriously game day and beyond grab a football ready big bow box at mercury there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either unlimited adrenaline unlimited fun Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. 
Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. <laughs> We're gonna throw him back anyway, right? Yeah. Huh? Neil won't. <laughs> I'm glad he lost him because now I ain't down. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm still tired. No, you're not, Neil. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tell you something right now. The way to what when you when you can document it on film and it gets off at the boat, hey, it counts. He in the boat he's it, in the boat. It counts. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's one up on you. He's three pounds ahead of you. He can't. He can't weigh that one in. Nope. I'm sorry. I was I'm sorry. We're playing with my rules today. <laughs> if it's on video, it's legitimate. Uh, how, okay. Well, how much did he weigh? And how, how he long weighed was three. It? He weighed actually weighed two pounds ten ounces. Uh. Well, you won the tournament, Jimmy. How about sharing with our viewers what you did that day? Um. Well, we started off in Castlehane and we fished in the pads to start with, and uh. We didn't, we didn't have any bites. We, we started off with top water like most people do. We threw the buzz baits a little bit, but um, we couldn't get anything going. So we started moving on down the river and um, we started picking apart fishing mostly wood. Um, once the water started getting down, you know, it's a tidal river. Once the water started getting down, um, the fish start to relate to the wood more. And uh, we found that, you know, this time of year, the best, the bait of choice is to fish it with a floating worm. Um, something other that you can you can let it drift up underneath the wood um, you can fish it slow or you can fish it fast uh, most of the fish that we caught um, almost all of them come out of either brush or logs um, and, and ditch mouths they were within 25 yards of a ditch generally and every fish we caught was on the sherbet floating worm Danny Joe's floating worm um, we fish them on spinning rods heavy action spinning rods um, with it being in tidal water um, and the fish are tight to the hill, uh, generally you got to get them out of there pretty quick or they're going to wrap you up. And the braided line, we, we fish as small a diameter as we can, which is generally like an eight pound diameter, 20 pound test. Um, and we fish it on a five volt uh, worm hook and Texas rigged. And uh, generally we put a little kink in it. A lot of people don't like to have the kink in it. Um, especially if you fish it on monofilament line because it will twist the line. But on the braid, you, you don't have a twist problem. Um, you can put that kink in it and the worm is twice as much action. It'll walk back and forth. You can, you can let it sink all the way or you can skip it uh, right on the top. And we use a small thin wire hook so that um, the bait skips real good. Um, in, uh, in the fall, sometimes we like to fish it where it sinks a little faster. We use a thicker hook. I guess um, all in all, we, we had a really good tournament. Um, we Most of the fish that bit, we caught. Um, we had two really good fish, especially for the Northeast Cape Fear River. We had one that was a little over four. We had another fish that was um, right at four. And uh, generally, 10 to 12 pounds wins, and uh, we had 15.78. Uh, we had um, three fish that we culled with, so uh, eventually that was like eight keepers. But. We, we had a really good day. We were very, very fortunate. That's him right there. <laughs> yeah. He was 
way off the bank, wasn't he? That's nice. That's a good keeper there. Jump like Bill, he got a sore on his head. He's better than you thought he was. He's pretty. Yeah, look at that sore on his head right there. Something got a hematoma. <laughs> Something bit him. Hematoma, is that like uh, bass? What does that mean in bass? I don't know. It means that's where that buzz bait knocked him upside the head. He was way out here, wasn't he? Yep. That's a pretty one. Good job there, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. Does Thank that you mean you get to run a trolling motor now? No, I got to catch him off. He got to catch one for me to get on the trolling motor. Boat oh, rules. that's right. I got Boat you. The rules is you got to be on the front to catch oh, one to get loose. Makes sense to me. <laughs> and drag, baby. That moves you to the rear. That is a nice fish right there anywhere. That's a pretty black river fish. He's blowing up on that buzzing grub yep. hanging in the bush. Floating worm bass right there. Danny Hope. You got him? Yeah. He's a little one, but I got him. It's a bass. Jump off too. Supposed to be one right there. Uh. Is that where you're supposed to hook them at? Because mm -hmm. I must be doing mine wrong. <laughs> about, about jerk that in the lap. The rod's tangled up in the end. <laughs> Good thing you caught him, Neil. You know why? Man, I'm telling you. Because if you hadn't caught him, he'd have weighed about 12 pounds. Hey, look, he's hooked on the outside of the mouth. Right. That's why I've been losing him. That's why I've been losing him. They ain't cooperating. Because all over the boat, Danny. Well, we knew something was wrong with him. He's a humpback. Look at him. Look how thick that fish is at the yes, front. Sir. Look at him. Mm -hmm. That's a typical black river. That guy fish. is humped up in the front. I'm telling you, you catch a lot of them like that with a hump in there. Yeah, look at him. That's unreal, ain't it? Look at him. That's wild. Got big old eyes. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. 
Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. Okay, it's that time of day everybody likes. We could have had a better day down here than we did today. It was beautiful. Caught a lot of fish. I know when you come down here and practice, you catch a whole lot more than you do in the tournament, but I think that's normal. But Sutton Lake is not my favorite place to fish, but it's probably got more fish in it than any place we fish. Lay it all joking aside. Our first award today goes to the big fish in the amateur division. Robert and Tommy Dale, you have 458, got you a check for $80. We had 16 boats. Good job. Thank you. Let's hear it for them. <clears throat> Third place. Third place is Garrett Brown and Uncle Glenn Smith. Y'all had 1110. Got you a check for 150 bucks. And got you a little something to take home with you. Let's hear it for them. Good job, boys. Thank Proud you. of you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. In second place, <laughs> David Foy and Charlie Allen. They used to be bitter enemies, and they've teamed up this year. <laughs> they used to be competition. Your boys had a good day. Eleven ninety-six. Got you a check for three hundred bucks. The increase in entry fee makes a difference, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, boys. Okay. Come on up here. This is pretty hard to believe. They've already called for a polygraph test. I thought I'd let you know that. Okay. Well, Levi's going to take it. Levi, <laughs> ain't no way he could take no polygraph test. They don't have one of them things big enough to go around it. No, you boys did a great job today. You had 1564. Got him a check here for 600 bucks, guys. Let's hear it for him. 600 bucks. Here. Representing Greene County, North Carolina. Good job. Thank you, Thank you boys. Thank you, <clears throat> okay. Now it's time for our Pro Awards. And they caught some fish today like they always do. Our eighth place team. Come on up here. Carl Whittington and Brody Brown. 1684 got you a check for 260 dollars there guys good job thank you thank you very much seventh place mike lanier and norman mullinax they had 1689 got you a check for 310 boys thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. good job Enjoy thank you advantage. thank you sixth place justin everett and lance murray y'all had 1732 Got you a nice little check there for four hundred and ninety dollars. You can handle that, can't you? Yes, sir. I figured yes, sir. you could. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, in fifth place, Joe Smith and James Sutton. Y'all had a great weight today, eighteen seventy-eight. Good for six hundred and thirty dollars. You like that, Joe? Yes, sir. I figured you did. I don't know you why. Do. You always like I wish that. I didn't have a shirt. <laughs> Oh, you call them all yourself? No, you ain't gonna take it. Oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> no, I Congratulations didn't. to you, boys. You did a good job. Okay, thank you. Much. Fourth place. Jerry Cox and Mickey Bullard. Pretty tight there. Y'all had 1894. Got you a check for seven hundred and thirty dollars, boys. Thank you. You like that? Yes, sir. And as you bragging rights right there, we appreciate you coming fishing with us. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it. Thank you. Come on up here. Chase and Jason Tice. I kind of made a joke this morning with uh, Clay. I don't know where I got this from, but I said, them boys are going to win today. He said, what makes you think that? I said, I don't have any idea, but I thought you was going to win. I'm sorry you didn't. I understand you had an opportunity to, but uh, you had a great day. Yeah, it's good day. 2079 with five fish. That's a great average. I'm real proud of you as always, Andy. Got you $830. Ain't nothing wrong with that either, is it? Good job. Thank you, boys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was just reminded you had a big fish. 636 for another 530. 
You like that, don't you? Yeah, I tell you what, you boys, I'm like your uncle. <laughs> Rich uncle. Second place. I don't know which one's who. Tom, Tom Elliott and Jason do. You boys had a great weight today. 2098 is your weight for second place. And your check is for 12. 1220. You like that? Yes, sir. 1220. That's your bragging rights right there, boys. We do appreciate it. Thank you for catching me. All right. Come on this way. Come on up here. Josh Brown, his partner's in a wedding. I had to go to a wedding, but you boys kicked him today at 2363. It's a heck of a weight. Let's hear it for him. $4,000. You like that, don't you? That's what you've been fishing for all this time to win one of these. Right. How many years you been fishing with us? Counting when you were young. So since I was young, I've been uh -huh. fishing since I could walk, but Bojangles since probably 2007. That's good. I'm glad you finally made it. Glad you finally made it. I'll give you both trophies so you can take to your partner. I'll give him this. And I got to, got to do something. I always got to do something. I want you to lie to these people just a minute. I can do that. How many fish you catch today? Probably 10. Is that all? That's it. Did you have a technique that was better than anything else? Or what do you think it was? We caught them all. They're all different versions of the bait, but it was all swim bait fish. All swim bait. All right. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you much. That wraps it up for the day. Beautiful day. Couldn't have been any better. Mother Nature treated us kind, and we appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Danny Joe Humphrey, and I'll see you out on the water. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as we did bringing it to you. To view the rest of our shows, go to BoJanglesProam.com. To contact us for tournament information, call us at 252-527-527. 0918 and we'll get the info out to you. Today's show is proudly brought to you by our fine sponsors, Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits, it's Bow Time. The New Sports Shop, your outdoor sportsman headquarters. Shimano Fishing, Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And Triton Boats, we take America fishing. Tune in next week at the same time for another edition of the Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail. Boat 84, I think we got a new leader here.